as we sit here today, two points clear at the top of the table, nine big games to go. How good does it feel to be there? To be one of us on that specific fact doesn't feel at all. So um, because it just feels like we are in the in the middle of a race, and um, if you are part of a race and you are two three meter ahead, but the, the, the finishing line is is still not in sight really. Um, that's yeah. I don't think anybody ever made that part of the of the of the track then uh, with uh, with raised arms or whatever and thought yeah we did it we did it take the flag of your country and running already. Um, so that really doesn't feel it's it's good. I know I feel good about the general situation, the team, the way we play. So many things I like a lot, but being two points above whoever is nothing I'm really thinking about. What's it like to be involved in this title race though? Because there's three teams just slugging it out and you're getting every kick seems to matter, every decision <laughs> seems to matter. Yeah, first and foremost, it's not allowed that we see it like that. So you must, there must be space for, for, for failure. There must be space for mistakes. It's always like it is. It's, it's all how you see it. Um, um, because last game is a very good example. I was... I wouldn't say surprised, but I was happy that 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 we reacted in the way we reacted um, because we were two weeks um, all over the world in different countries, played different football, and after 90 seconds we were one 0 down against a really good football team. So that could have happened pretty much everything. But I liked the reaction in the, uh, during the first half already. Then we could readjust a little bit um, in half time, and then we were us again, again against a really good side, which um, just led to the fact that it was a pretty um, tight win, but um, it still counts. And um, I'm, I'm really pleased with that. So being in the title race, yeah, it's the best place to be, to be honest, because uh, probably everybody's pretty much everybody's dreaming of something like that when the season starts. Um, most of the teams are not involved anymore. I'm not sure. I don't even know exactly the distance to fourth place or stuff like that so I wouldn't count them off um, um, but it's just it's good uh, it's the the result of the, the the football the boys played over the season so far you've just mentioned this but just to go into a little bit more detail when you win the highs must be so high but but boy oh boy your team make you sweat sometimes don't they there's been big comebacks this season and when you go behind early against Brighton are you thinking not again I can't, I can't take this again <laughs> Yeah, like I said, final whistle in Liverpool games this season quite frequently was like, <sighs> like just oh god, okay, next one. Um, but it's it's the way, and it, it's not that we planned it or whatever. But it it's part of the um, of the success we had so far this season that we overcame so many difficult moments very early in the season. We didn't know. Ex I knew we have a good team. That I knew that after three days in preseason, I was really happy with the, the, the team we will have. Then you need luck with injuries, which we obviously didn't have. And then you need to face all the, 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 the potential struggles in a game. So like red cards, in our case, they were pretty much, wow, strange red cards. Um, being one nil down, turning games around with 10 men, with nine men and all these kind of things. So there are so many things where, which makes you a better team when you, when you go through this together. And that's why being one nil down is not exactly the same feeling what we maybe would have if we would have lost the last six when we were one nil down. So that's slightly different. But I don't take these things for granted. Nobody should. It's always difficult. And we will face now constantly teams who fight for their own targets and the one lead is a, is a good step into a game. Um, but of course, I'm pretty sure other thing, teams think as well, when you're one and up against Liverpool, it doesn't mean automatically you won the game already. So they will be awake as well. It's it's all right. But yes, I would prefer being 4-0 up at half time and directly after half time, 5-6-0 and six nil, and then somehow bring the game over the line. That would be my preferred result. But we never had that. So we have to do it our way. Chance to watch Man City against Arsenal afterwards. What yeah. did you think? Yeah, no, I had a lot of we had a lot of people in. Um, so, but we watched it in my in my in my boot room, and um, but I was talking to the people, and then I saw in their eyes that something happened there more or less. So I saw a little bit of it. It's, didn't have to watch it back and uh, now, but um, 
ja, yeah, uh, 0-0. Hard fought. Um, Arsenal yeah, put a proper shift in and, and City was City without scoring, let me say like that. And um, But Arsenal has obviously real quality and um, um, the tactical discipline that day yeah, it's very important if you want to if you want to get something at uh, uh, in Manchester. And um, I think it was the first game for how long that they didn't score in a home game. So that says something about the Arsenal performance. But I don't have to watch the game to know that they're both good football teams. So um, I knew that before. We don't play them anymore, so um, I don't have to watch it too detailed. Afterwards, other managers saying. You're the favourites now. <laughs> analyzing the schedule, saying who's got the best run in. Do you take much notice? Do you, do you believe them? No, not at all. Of course not. Um, can't see our schedule being any kind of easy. We play now, tomorrow, Thursday, Sunday, Thursday, Sunday. Wednesday, Saturday, twelve thirty. That's our schedule. I can't. I can't see where this is easy. If we would play against us, um, it would be difficult. Um, so um, that's just we have to get through these kind of periods. And um, but there's nothing. There's nothing decided. Everybody knows that. And um, Pep didn't say. I heard that and saw it. Didn't say. By the way, now Liverpool is favorite. So somebody asked him. He said yes. And. Sarcasm, sarcasm, and and irony or stuff like this is obviously not um, journalists don't take too well. Um, so I, I I saw his eyes when he said it. So it's all fine. Um, all three want to win it definitely, and we will see who can do it. The other dynamic here is, of course, this is your final fling. We all know that at the end of the season. I just wondered, you know, after the game at the weekend, when you're around saluting the fans and saying thank you for their support. Is there any second in your mind where you sort of consider this won't be like this for so much longer and you have to cherish every minute? No. No, I do cherish every minute, always did. Um, so that's not, I don't have to change in that department. So um, no, I'm not emotional yet. I'm not, there's no, no sentiments or whatever. It's not, not it's, 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 it's a job to do. I owe the people so much that I'm fully, I have to be professional and I am. And I cannot switch my, my role all the time and be now Jürgen, the private person, Jürgen, the Liverpool lover. I'm the I'm I'm manager of this football club um, with all I have. And no, I so far I never had that for a second. There, there are moments before the game, but they were always emotional. Uh, you never walk alone is special to me. Will always be, and um, that's <laughs> um, depends on the people how they and which shape they are, which form they are. So um, they if they do. Put all in, then it's 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 pretty special and um, no. But how I said, there will be that will be. I don't. I'm not looking forward to the Wolves game. Um, like in in that um, in that sense that I think oh that will be great and uh, so I lo- I hope it's an important game and we have we have if we win it we could do something or, or win something more even. Um, but obviously after the game that will be different and um, I'm not looking forward to that. But besides that, I'm fully in the season. I know you're not getting sentimental yet, but we've spoken to Virgil ahead of this game. He's just so desperate to win it for you, he said. Trent Alexander-Arnold, you heard the other day, saying it's a bit like the last dance in, in reference to Michael Jordan. So the players are thinking about it. I guess that must be a good thing, Jürgen, because it can motivate them. Yeah, but not. I'm pretty sure not on a daily basis. So we have here really business as usual. And um, look, um, it's now trend and and virtually a good example. Um, we went through a lot together, and um, and uh, um, um, Robo, others, um, Ali, blah, 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 whoever is still here, Joey. Um, um, so I want it as much for them as they want it for me. So, but in the end, it's for the people, and um, that's how it is. And um, if it's if it would be only about me, nobody would have to make an extra step because that's really not important, but um, it's for all of us. And so let's let's give it a proper try. I think that's all we can do. Um, yes, and it, it is maybe a little bit like the last dance, but a lot of dances are coming up and um, we better uh, focus on all of them um, until uh, the final match day. And uh, that's what we will do. But the relationship between the boys and me is, is absolutely outstanding. Um, but always was. Um, there were moments. That's how it is with footballers. When the manager is not a favorite person on the planet, if, it, if I don't play them in the in a specific game, 
but the general respect was always there and um, and will always be there. And Matt now around the Brighton game, obviously Millie and Adam Lalana, and it was like if they I would have seen them the day before, um, just and because it just feels normal and natural. So I'm so happy that so many that we could write so many stories here on a personal level, but as well on a, on a, on a, on a on a club level as well, so it's it's just nice. It was all all good. So um, uh, club is in a good moment. Team plays good football. We just have to do that another fourteen times, um, and then yeah, everything is fine. Yeah, you can dream of dancing after the next fourteen. Uh, just on Virgil because we've spoken to him. His performances this season have just been incredible, haven't they? The, the consistency you're getting. His performances since he's at Liverpool have been like that. So it, it had a bad, bad injury in the world. Unfortunately, it's like that. Um, it's all good as long you function. In the moment when you don't function, then people forget pretty quickly how good you've been and, and especially how tough the period is you went through. Um, and for me, Virgil was always absolutely outstanding. He is the best center half in the world for the, for this period of time, yes, and there was a, a little bit of low for the team and then maybe for him as well, but understandably for him especially. So that's all. But the the, the man he became here um, and the player he became is absolutely outstanding and nobody will forget that in the future definitely. But the business is like that. You have a bad game and people take it too often personal. It's like, how can you play like that? And I don't give it a second think. Come on, think again. Why could it be? Let's just assume he wants to be play good. And now let's think. Why didn't he do it then? It's always like I, that's what I never understand criticism. If it's pundits or whatever, how can you play like that? And I forgot that they played very often, even worse. Yeah, I don't forget, by the way, because I was working in Scottish football when he was at Celtic, and I used to tell people in England how good he was. So I, <laughs> yeah. Uh, look, just just finally on Sheffield United. You can take nothing for granted. People maybe looking ahead to the Man United game, I, I'm sure you'd slap them in the face if they said that to you because Sheffield United have played really well and been unlucky not to win their last two. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I think it's we have a very good moment for Sheffield, in, um, like performance wise, definitely. Um, I watched this morning the, the press conference, Chris Wilder, so they, they know uh, what to expect and they know what, what they need to do, but they will do exactly try that and we know, we know that. So it, it's. Um, I, we spoke yesterday already about it. So a banana skin is a banana skin when you let it be a banana skin. So easy as that. It's just, um, it's all about us. How do we approach this game? And um, if we play to our absolute top level, then it will be difficult for Sheffield. But if not, the door is immediately open for them. Um, and especially with the expectation around. So we need to find, we need to um, have a performance like we would play, I don't know, um, Man City for example, exactly the same attitude. That's what we need. Um, everybody defends, everybody attacks in the right moment, close them down, don't let them have counterattacks, don't let them have second balls, all these kind of things. But it's football and we, we work with human beings. So I have another 24 hours or a bit more time to, to help the boys with understanding in the right way. And that, that's what we will do.